In this video, we're going to look at solving second order ordinary differential equations. So let's start with a, a second order differential equation, d2y dx squared is 6x. And we're going to integrate that twice. There will be two constants of integration. The first one we'll call c1, the second one we'll call c2. Okay, so we're going to anti-differentiate twice. So let's look at anti-differentiating both sides. So the integral d2y dx squared dx will is equal to the integral of 6x dx plus c1. Remember, that's our first constant. Uh, we must include the constant of integration. And that implies that dy dx is 3x squared plus c1. Antiderivative of 6x is 6x squared on 2, which is 3x squared plus c1. We anti-differentiate again. So the antiderivative of dy dx with respect to x okay, is equal to the integral the antiderivative of 3x squared plus c1 with respect to x, and that implies that gives us y of x is equal to x cubed plus c1x plus c2. Okay, when we look for a particular solution, we're going to be looking for c1 and c2. Otherwise, a general solution will be y of x is equal to x cubed plus c1x plus c2 in this situation. All right, so in general, anything of the form d2y dx squared is equal to f of x, then dy dx will be. The first derivative will be the integral f of x dx plus c1, and y of x, the, the total solution would be, the total general solution, will be then the integral of all that plus another constant. Okay, so that's a general form. You anti-differentiate twice and you'll have two constants of integration. So let's start with an example. <clears throat> let's solve d2y dx squared is 2 sine pi x, and we're given the boundary conditions y of 0 is 1, y of 1 is 3. Okay, so anti-differentiate the first time, d2y dx squared dx is equal to the integral 2 sine pi x dx plus c1. Okay, um, that implies that dy dx, the first derivative is minus 2 on pi cos pi x. If we differentiate cos pi x, uh, we're going to have um, minus sine pi x, okay, and um, okay out there, so we're going to need a, a 1 on pi to get rid of that. Okay, so hence we have minus 2, because we started with a 2 as well, minus 2 on pi, cos pi x, plus c1. And, okay, now we need to anti-differentiate again. So the integral dy dx with respect to x is equal to the integral minus 2 on pi, cos pi x, plus c1, times dx, plus c2. Okay, and the general solution then gives us y of x is equal to minus 2 on pi squared sine pi x plus some constant c1 times x, plus another constant c2. So that's a general solution. Now given our boundary conditions, y of 0 is 1, and y of 1 is, is equal to plus 3, um, let's substitute those in. So y of 0 is minus 2 on pi squared sine pi times 0, plus c1 times 0, plus c1 is equal, uh, plus c2, sorry, is equal to 1. Well, sine pi, the sine of 0 is 0, okay, c1 times 0 is 0, we're only left with c2 is equal to 1, so that tells us straight away that c2 is equal to 1. Next, uh, now we substitute in x equals 1, so minus 2 on pi squared times sine of pi times 1, well sine pi is going to be 0 as well, um, c1 times 1 is c1, plus 1 is equal to 3, okay, and so we're left with c1 plus 1 equals 3, so C1 must be 2. All right. And so the particular solution we get in this case is y of x is equal to minus 2 on pi squared times sine pi x plus 2x plus 1. And that's that.